you're going back to school, says Meatball. New York schools can reopen, Cuomo says, in contrast with much of U.S. We all know Governor Cuomo. I affectionately call him Meatball. And we know his brother, Chris uh, Fredo Cuomo Corleone, who was offended at the name Fredo. He thought it was a, a slur against italian Americans, so now we call him Chris uh, uh, Fredo Cuomo Corleone and uh, we remember and we forgive him for his lie that he had coronavirus and beat it by chest exercises. Remember that when Chris Cuomo had coronavirus and beat it by going like this. That's how he beat it. So we apparently shut down the economy for something that you can beat by just stretching your chest in the living room of your home. So we forgive him for his lie, okay? Like, uh, like we would do. We would say, uh, what's that line in The Godfather? Uh, which one? Uh, I don't know. He's disappointed in the kid. Is that The Godfather? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Where he's like, uh, I don't know. He, doesn't he look at Fredo and he goes, Fredo, you'd, you'd disappoint me or something. What's that famous line? I know it was you, Fredo. That was, that was you know... Oh, yeah, yeah. Here it is. I know it was you, Fredo. Here you go up to You Chris. broke my heart. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. You broke my heart when you're lying about having coronavirus and that you beat it by doing chest exercises. But we forgave you, your family. That's fine. Um, uh, Meatball has decided that the kids are going back to school and cases in New York are very low and people are just going to get back to the business uh, of, you know, uh, bringing the kids into New York City schools and, um, you know, not educating them. But so we're happy about that. And the teachers are, a lot of the teachers are not happy. A lot of the teachers are upset. Um, um, but let's be very honest here. And I get flack for this a lot, but I, I don't shy away from controversial opinions. Let's be very honest. Have you ever, and some of the people listening are, are going to not like this. Have you ever met a teacher that wasn't just a little bit of a self-important cunt? I'm speaking of the female teachers. The male teachers, we all know, are just pedophiles. Many of them very agreeable, though, and friendly. I mean, they have to be. They're, you know, they, they fuck the kids. But I mean, female teachers many times are self-important, for lack of a better word, see you next Tuesdays. It's just what they are. They spend their entire lives with children. They talk to you like you were a child. Teaching is not the job it was when my grandmother did it, when you didn't get paid to do it. And it was, you had a genuine uh, passion for teaching children. Now it is a job that a lot of people take because it pays very well in a lot of suburban areas. And also they get the two prime months of the year off. So I, I've likened them to summer enthusiasts. That's what I call a lot of teachers, summer enthusiasts. Okay, they show up at 7.30 in the morning. They hand out some folders. You're out by 2.30 every day. Oh no, they don't, they don't leave at 2.30. They, they stay for chef's club. Great, great. Okay? Now, not all teachers are bad. Okay? Not all teachers are bad. But if we're going to broad brush cops, if we're going to paint with a broad brush, let's paint. You know what I mean? And a lot of teachers, these social interactions you have with them, you dread them. They start explaining things to you like you need them explain. Bitch, I'm not nine. I know what the Supreme Court is. Pipe down. Okay? Teaching's the most important job in the world. It is not the most important job in the world. The, the, the America is so behind in every educational standard. And all we do is praise teachers. The statistics are much worse for teachers than for cops. Much worse. Yes or yes. Where is American reading and math? Let's find it out right now. 
if cops were shooting as many people as teachers were failing, it would be a cause to abolish them. And this is not all teachers. And I don't want people that are teachers to get angry with me. I want you to grow up and take a little criticism, okay, from a comedian, someone who really knows the ins and outs. I have a value in society, unlike you, showing up to a fucking... Let, let's try to find where we are in, in math and reading. This is from October 2019, okay? Math and reading scores for fourth and eighth graders in the United States dropped. And the decrease in reading achievement has government researchers particularly concerned. Over the past decade, there has been no progress in either mathematics or reading performance. And the lowest performing students are doing worse. Okay? That's the reality. I, I don't know how to, I mean, find, find the statistics. I know it's tough, but try to find them because I, it's really an important point that I'm making here. If we're going to say abolish cops, why not abolish teachers? I'm dead serious here. Mm -hmm. Let's abolish teachers. If you think people can walk around society and police themselves, kids can teach themselves. Let's have a school with no teachers, okay? No new Toyota Camrys pulling up. They get out with their latte. I will get so much hate for this, and I don't care. Because I've had, an, I know a lot of teachers. My aunt is a teacher, I respect her. My grandmother is a teacher, and I respect her. I, I, this is not going at all teachers, but we all know there's a lot of bad teachers, and the good teachers stay silent about it. The good teachers stay silent about the bad ones. I went to a Catholic school. We had teachers that used to make out with the kids in the hallway. And those were the good teachers. Those were the ones who stayed after class and ran clubs and cared. They helped you fill out your college application. Sure, they goosed ya. Sure, every now and then they, they wanted your phone number and they wanted to take you on a date after school. But that's nice. We did. We had a teacher who was a theater teacher who just was like making out with a girl in the hallway. Okay. Holy Trinity Diocesan, Hicksville. If you know, you know. I'm not trying to get sued. I have a friend whose wife's a teacher. I mean, it's like, I mean, they're just, they just show up and they just tell you, they talk to you like you're a child. And I'm just saying... So the problem is a lot of them are going to be upset. They feel like they're being put in an unnecessary risk. And maybe some of them are. But if Meatball wants the kids to go back to school, the kids are going to go back to school. That's what's going to happen. And as a teacher, you want to educate the kids and you're passionate about it. You're going to have to take a little bit of a chance. And I, I don't say that. Lightly. Oh, Tim, you get to work alone. You don't have to be around anybody. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay? I'm sorry that I chose the profession I chose. I went 10 years without making a dollar. I worked on a tour bus. I tried to sell photocopiers over the phone. You went to a school. You got a degree. You got an education. You have all the financial security, pretty much, that you can ask for. Not always, but a lot of the time, especially these teachers that teach in the burbs. And, you know, okay, world's best education systems. They're saying that we're number two. That's not true. All of them are finding are saying we're number one or two. This That's not can't no, be right. No, this, 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 this is the teachers are running this. This is not true. This feels all fake. Everything I click on says that you are number is one. A the, kid, the kids can't read out there. The kids are on, they're, they take all these pills. They're black-eyed nihilists, the kids. We, we did the video with the kids, yeah. and that little kid Oliver in there, he's a black-eyed nihilist. He literally believes in nothing, the children. They think nothing matters, and they're right. U.S., we're going to have to get back to you with these fucking statistics. But, but like Our fans will go and find them. If we're 125 on a list of 197 countries in terms of literacy, how do we have the best education system on it's, all these lists? They, you can't get the right answers here anymore. 
Nobody's giving you the right answers. We're not the best education system in the country. I, I mean, that's crazy. It's crazy. We're not. Most of these teachers don't even know the three branches of government. Go ask a teacher what the three branches of government are in a public school. They're going to say the fire department as one of them. Okay, I found one that this is usually where we are. This we're is 20th. the reality. Yeah, we're 20th. We're 20th yeah. behind Finland, Japan, South Korea, Denmark, Russia, Norway, United Kingdom, Israel, Sweden, Hong Kong, Netherlands, Belgium, Germany, China, Singapore, Portugal, Hungary, Estonia, France, and then the United States of America. So the answer is put the kids back in school, trim the fat. That's the reality. Some of the teachers aren't going to make it. I feel bad about that. The world is not perfect. We could all die tomorrow. I could die tomorrow. And then all you'd be left with is these brilliant archives of a, of a misunderstood genius. Okay? But, but Meatball has spoken. And he has said that there is no economy without the kids in schools. There is no economy without the children going back to school so that their parents can, can stop pretending to care about them. One of the biggest impediments to putting the economy back together is kids are running around the streets right now filming TikToks and taking drugs. And what needs to happen is they need to go back into school where they could be in a social environment and have teachers watch them and attempt to educate them, okay? That's what we need so that their parents can go back to work. That's what needs to happen. We're not able to do anything unless the kids are in school. So yeah, a lot of teachers are going to come down on me and go, you don't know what a hard job it is. You don't know how tough it is. Yeah, you're right, I don't. You're right, I don't. Okay? I will, te I have all I will teach, but it's got to be what I want. I'm not going to teach the common core curriculum that Meatball and his brother want. I will teach... I will teach different classes. What about a uh, class called 9-11, A Closer Look with Mr. Dillon? I'll do it. Okay? But I'm not going to teach this uh, horse. Oh, here's the scarlet letter. Read the scarlet letter. What? Hey, read uh, Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing. No. We're not doing that. We will spend the semester investigating the attacks of 9-11. <laughs> and you will go home every day and tell your parents what you've learned. 